what's up guys I'm Rustin from rossmartech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming now in this class I'm going to show you guys how to use the ADC instruction and it's short for add with carry so let's get started now the ADC instruction adds both the source operand and the contents of the carry flag to the destination operand the instruction formats are the same as the add instruction and I'm going to show you that right now this is the different formats it's exactly the same as the add instruction you can uh, add, you can ADC uh, registers into registers. You can ADC uh, registers into memory. You can ADC memory into registers. You can ADC immediate values into memory, and you can ADC immediate values into registers. Same as the add instruction. All right, now let's open MU8086 so I can show you exactly how this instruction works. Let's minimize this here. Now let's first start off by writing a few instructions here. Let's let's type in MOV dl zero this is the example that's in the book if you guys are following along with me with this book the book is called kip r ivern's assembly language for x86 processors this is the example that they have in a book so if you guys want to follow along and you have the book you can do so now the first instruction we're going to type in is move into dl zero right we want to move into dl the value of zero and let's type in the next instruction the next instruction we're moving into al and this uh, hexadecimal value here, 0, F, F, H, right? And now we're adding into AL the same amount, 0, F, F, H, right? These are two capital Fs, by the way, lowercase f. Now let's do the final part. We're going to use the ADC instruction, right? And we're going to add in ADC into DL. The value of zero. So let's see what happens, right? All right, so let me show you exactly what's going to happen on here. All right, so let's let me just type it in here so you guys get an idea of what's going to happen. So we're adding right into AL. We're adding basically this value here: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me open up MU8086 here so I can explain what what, what why this is this value. So uh, we're, we moved into uh, basically AL this hexadecimal value and I'm going to copy this here I'm going to open up my browser right and in this browser I have this uh, binary to hexadecimal to decimal converter and I'm going to paste my decimal uh, value here in the hexadecimal part I'm going to hit paste and I'm going to hit enter and as you can see this is the binary uh, part of it this is the binary value of that hexadecimal value right so again, we're moving this binary value into AL now. So let's open up MU8086 again. So again, now we're adding that same amount into AL because we want the carry flag to be set to one. So basically it's adding this here. It's adding uh, one, 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 one into, let's add this plus symbol here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this value here, and it's gonna set the carry flag. So this is gonna be the results of, of AL. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then 0. And the carry flag is going to be set. So now let us let me show you what happens with DL, right? So we, we're basically, we're, we're adding a 0 into DL, right? And then we're adding 0 back to it. So let's just type that in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? Then it's gonna we're going to add it by, by another 0, right? We moved into uh, DL 0 first, then we're adding 0 back into DL. But it's 8 zeros because it, it's a 8-bit value. So this is the binary 8-bit uh, value of 0. It has to be all zeros. And we're adding this back into uh, the DL register, right? But uh, when we use this ADC instruction, right, what's going to happen is it's going to... Uh, it's going to add the two together, but it's going to also add the, the carry flag along with it. So it's going to copy this part into AL, right? The carry flag is going to get uh, sent to DL, and I should have wrote DL down here, right? And now DL is going to look like this, basically. It's going to have seven zeros, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a one, because it carried the, the carry flag over to DL. Remember that. So then now after this, we, we should have this 16-bit value. It's going to be DL and AL together, which is going to make a 16-bit value, right? It's going to have a hexadecimal value of this right here. 0, 1, F, E, 
H. And I'm going to show you how that's going to happen in a second. But let's open up MU86 here again. So we can run this here. Again, we started off by moving into DL0, right? Now, right, we're moving into AL, this hexadecimal value, which is also the same as this binary value here, 8 once, right? So the reason we're doing that is because we want to set that carry flag. So now down here we're adding into AL the same value. So the carry flag was, is set. So it's adding another eight ones and it's going to give us this value here, right? And it's going to set the carry flag to one. So, right, so let's hit play here. I'm going to hit emulate. So our first line of code here is highlighted. Move into DL, the value of zero. So I'm going to hit single step here. And as you can see, DL still has a value of zero here. So now our second line of code is highlighted. Move into AL, this hexadecimal value here, right? So I'm gonna hit single step. As you see, AL has this hexadecimal value. And I'm gonna prove to you exactly what the value is by copying this here, right? I'm gonna copy FF. I'm gonna open up my binary to hexadecimal to decimal converter, right? I'm gonna paste it onto this hexadecimal part here. Then I'm gonna hit enter. As you can see, it's the same thing. This is the binary of uh, uh, this hexadecimal value here, FF. So let's open up MU8086 again. So our third line of code here, we're adding into AL the same amount. So we're adding basically this again. Let's open up Notepad. We're adding this value with this value, which is going to give us this value. And it's going to set the carry flag. So let's open that up again. Let's hit single step. And as you can see here, AL now has a value of FE. So let's copy this and let's see if it worked. Let's open up this uh, binary to hexadecimal to decimal converter. Let's again paste it onto hexadecimal here. Now FE and let's hit enter. And this is our answer here. Seven ones and one zero. This is another 8-bit value, right? The, and it set the carry flag. And I, and I remember I showed you that this would be the result here and we got it when we ran the program, right? So again, now the next part, the carry flag is going to be set, right? And that carry flag is going to be, be added onto the DL register. We, we started off by moving into DL, the value of zero, right? Then we're adding into DL zero. But just to show you, you know, zero plus zero is always going to be zero, but it's going to add the carry flag to DL because it's going to carry it over. And let's open up MU8086 here just to show you how that works. So let's hit single step here. And as you can see right now, DL here has a value of one because it carried the carry flag into DL. So AL has a value of FE. So let's copy this here, right? Let's paste it onto this part again. FE is this value here. L here has a value of FE. It's FEH, by the way. And uh, DL has a value of 0, 1. So that's how we got the, this 16-bit value, 0, 1 in DL, right? And FEH in AL. And this makes a 16-bit value here. And let's copy this 16-bit value. I'm going to copy it here. Let's open up this converter here, and I'm going to paste it here. And let's hit Enter. And this is the 16-bit value here. Pretty cool, right? So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RasmarTech.com, and thanks for watching.